So Bitcoin came to $60,000. Look at the RSI. It came back down to a trend line support. So we would see a bounce that's going to be welcomed. That run up may end just below $65,000. If you do look at different assets, especially an asset like XRP, where you have the negative divergence and then the price starting to come back down, that means you may not get huge bounce, but you can still go back up to retest the moving average, which is 0.59 and then slow down towards 0.5. This is going to be one of the important scenarios we'll have to watch for. If we can find a bottom in Bitcoin around 60,000, that is going to be the most bullish narrative. It's going to create higher lows and signal a further blow off. Welcome to the Sinovic Investor Family, where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10% of this world. Right now, we are watching a lot of these assets, which were showing us that they are about to correct, and that's a place to sell back in March, April, now coming back to the macro support yes it took time for some of these assets to drop 50 60 percent but now they reached that range say inj is now at what 18. from december we were giving you this idea we followed it through it was just history repeating in itself right now in the market you're watching for different odds we would like to see the price bottoming close to 60 and then bouncing back up. But if not, the price action can still grind and push towards 55,000. That's a rare case odds. I would look for 56 to 58, but the price action usually is surprising. So if the retailer is looking for this bottom, maybe they are going to reverse it close to 60,000. So watch for any reversal signs especially on a 4 to 12 hour if you can see the exact same thing then developing on a daily that will be a clear sign that we are about to bounce that bounce being able to be visible on a three-day chart will give you more clarity into what we will see in the entire august now we have a full month here we're going to see where it actually goes. So when you do bring that action into XRP, an asset which has been trading inside this channel, the argument is, okay, we may actually come back down, but we're still inside the range. The weekly candle gives you the right idea of what you should be looking as a bottom. I would argue the support here stands close to the reality most likely we will find the bottom close to this territory we won't actually see how it actually ends the macro market does show you buffett is holding on to 250 billion plus in cash so he's expecting something in the stock market side of things then you go into the stock market and you're watching something like this on a weekly say you slowly zoom in you get to see a three-day chart and you're like, whoa, that broke the trend line. Any continuation to the downside in just one candle, that's just three days. It will argue that stock markets are going into a corrective mode. And we have seen these kind of patterns playing out every now and then. And those have always led towards a recessionary move in the market. Those opportunities were taken by those who understood what the market was trying to convey. And right here in the crypto market, you are in that territory where Bitcoin has kind of reached a big top and from here, the upside is limited. 
all coins are about to start moving higher. You're watching the RSI trying its might to put in a higher low. And if it is successful in doing that, good times are coming. September, October, November is going to be great. And there is no much explanation and confusing that kind of things to do right now. It's just focus. It's just focus on what the price action is showing you. And I want you guys to have maximum clarity here. The weekly close is coming in. Pay attention. So when you are looking at the market in this right angle, you don't actually get to confuse yourself. You have clarity. You're waiting for the market to show you something. And especially on a monthly, it makes a lot of sense. You had a long week to the downside. You would like to come test the bottom, which happens to be the previous range and levels of support close to 58. You're watching the RSI very closely on a monthly and you're nearing the support, but it has not yet touched that support. So as soon as you see that happening, that is kind of that bottom which you're looking on the local swing levels. Any reversal signal on the daily to three day is going to give you the maximum opportunity into the altcoin market. You don't have to spend too much time at this point in crypto. What you should be looking at is the macro and especially look for Bitcoin dominance. It's actually trying to make a divergence, a negative divergence, which historically shows you it can slow down here to the downside. And that means positive moves for altcoin market. We'll keep this video short, but understand this is not the time where you panic. This is the time where you prepare for opportunities. September, October, November, based on what you can see now, is going to be the positive side of this phase for this year. Use it for your advantage. If you haven't smashed that like button, smash that for me. And if you want to join the party with all these updates at the regular time for almost all the assets in your portfolio, use the link in the description to reach the scientific investor family. I'll meet you guys on next video. Bye for now.